So first, if you could just tell me a little bit about Safari MMA. So um, we made it uh, originally in London, actually. It used to be just a general martial arts club. My husband was former world champion in cage rage and European champion in Muay Thai and kickboxing. And it was a sport that I fell in love with and decided that I wanted to be able to teach other people and pass on my knowledge and skills. Yeah, I've been in London for 13 years and I've now bought it to, to Milson Keynes. Wondered what it would be like here, how it would be accepted, and it's been really successful. So we teach kickboxing, Muay Thai, self-defence and general fitness. We start age three and a half is the youngest that we offer the classes to, up to any age, there's no age limit on it. And the classes, we've got five, six classes a week. And then we also offer personal training, so obviously some of our clients do a combination of both. People train for all different reasons, so weight loss, self-defence, um, confidence, just a learning a new skill. It just changes the way a person walks. So if you're walking down the street and you're confident to know that you can defend yourself, mm -hmm. you're less likely to become a victim in the first place. Whereas if you're someone walking down the street that's like looking over your shoulder and you're worried, you're more likely to become a victim. So confidence, I think, is the main thing in self-defense. So um, it's one of the few classes that are available to actually teach women only in a women-only environment. So coming back to Milton Keynes, it's been a totally different experience for me. I know nothing about the Muslim community here. I don't know anybody here. Mm -hmm. Like I know the people I went to school with. I wasn't sure how it would be perceived. I wasn't sure how big the Muslim community was here. And actually it's quite big and they're actually quite close. Like, but there was nothing available for them. So they've been really, they're actually asking me for more classes. Can we have daytime classes? Um, and just for... And this little talker yes. is your youngest student. Yes, Tell us a little bit about Aisha. So this is Aisha. She's two and she loves kickboxing. She's just picked it up, she loves it. She sees us doing it and she just wants to join in. So we take her along to our children's classes just to kind of be there and be in the environment. And then she's doing a couple of sessions with us at home. So we leave these gloves out at home, she puts them on. She's like, jab, cross, jab, cross. And are you worried that in a few years time she's going to be at the same level as you because she started so young? She'll probably be fitter than me I expect because <laughs> by the time she's a, an older age I'll be an older age and yeah. probably like forcing my fitness level to keep up with hers. So, um, Brilliant, we better see you in action. Thank you very much. My pleasure.